what's up guys and welcome back to my channel cat love succulent and today let's talk pots what's up guys and welcome back to my channel Okay, another video of Cat Loves Succulents, and today, like I said, we are talking pots. I really had this one as my number one requested thing, so I'm going to let you guys all know where I get my pots from and how I choose between what succulent will go into that pot. So let's get started. My majority of my pots, like a good couple of hundreds of my pots, does um come from one particular lady here in sydney and her name is doris, doris has become a very good friend of mine over the how many months or whatever we have been in contact and i've seen her a couple oh, not a couple of times i've seen her honestly so many times now because of my pots but she is so lovely i am telling you she is so lovely all you need to do is um just let her know that you've um, found her through me and she will help you out with prices. I'm super, super excited because I haven't honestly bought pots for such a long time, like a good amount of pots and good quality pots in fact. So I have been really holding out and waiting to get my stock from Doris. She has um, surprised me and um, got a whole box together of some of the new stuff she has and um, you know, Let's see what I have. Uh, yes, it's a very big box full of pots. Uh, all right, so let's go one by one and I'll show you guys what I got. I'm actually really, really excited because like I said, I haven't bought really good quality pots in such a long time. So I think this is my gift from her because <laughs> she knows I am such a fan of studio so look she made me Totoro <laughs> super cute <laughs> let's go I really like um, these kind of look pots where they are a bit um, awkward looking you know they're not your typical pots that you do find I also um, want to let you guys know the good thing with Doris that I found with other pots is that um, I don't like the pots that are actually glazed on the inside because they actually don't drain the water very well and um, they just keep too much moisture in so if you are looking for particular pots I really say don't go for anything that's glazed on the inside because you're just going to have um, not problems per se but more like you're just gonna find that everything's just not draining really well and it, everything's just holding so much moisture inside no matter what kind of soil media you are using. So that's why I'm such a fan of Doris's because um, that was something that I did tell her along the way that I really like the stuff that don't have glaze on the inside. So she really does help me out with that stuff. So that is my first part. My next. super cute right so that's like something to um it's actually a really bad idea to be vlogging in the afternoon because i always get the birds not that i have anything wrong with birds but they are always singing or talking to each other during this time so please excuse my pet birds not that they're pets they're just there but, all right let's continue So guys, these are the pots that I got from Doris. I am super excited to start potting with them. And like I said, she is local here in Sydney. She's just in Parramatta. So for anyone that is here in Sydney, she is very easy, uh, easy to get to. And she does post, right? So she posts into state or wherever you are. And um, 
I'm definitely going to be putting her details in here so you can speak to her directly. Oh, look, how cool are these? Something totally different. It's not your typical pots that you see that are, um, you know, like already made from machine and looks like this. Um, I really like these hand looking ones. I think it's something cool to go with, something that's totally different. And like I said, they are not glazed in the middle. So, um, you know, it does drain really well. So um, these do, these ones in particular, these little ones, I actually decided to get them because I, uh, I do have some um, succulents that are getting a bit taller. So I really want to change their pots. And I think, um, you know, having a longer looking pot looks actually nice with something more sticking out like a vase look. So um, the thing that I do with succulents, right, and picking pots for them. So I really feel like the best result you can do is, okay, just say whatever pot you decide to go with, okay? So whether it be, um, you know, something decorative like this or something very plain or, you know, um, terracotta or whatever, right? The thing that I really go for with pots is something that's going to drain really well for me. I cannot stress that enough. Do not try and go for something, like I said, that is glazed in the middle. Don't try and go for something that doesn't look like it's got a, um, you know, if it's got a hole already, like why waste your time trying to hole it again, make it a bigger hole. Try and go for something that's already got a nice, decent hole to it. Um, and then also the really big thing that I have and I feel like I have a lot of success and I have a lot of um, people giving compliments and stuff about my succulents is because I really color code my succulents. So whether whatever succulent you may have, um, my tip for it is that just say um, you have a purple succulent the color code for that is yellow. So go onto Google and just find what is the color wheel colors or matching color wheel colors and they will come up there. And that's how I put my succulents in pots because I find that, yes, you have a amazing looking succulent, but if it's in a pot that's pretty regular, like I feel like you, um, I don't know, like it's just not as pretty as if you were to put it into a pot that's actually somewhat nicely put together. Um, I know some people don't go for um, decorative pots and just go for the plastic, you know, square pots and that's totally up to you. But this is just how I do it and how I like it. So my tip for you guys is to really go color coded with pots. Don't try and put a purple succulent into a purple pot because then you kind of just drown its, its prettiness you know what I mean so um, I can give some examples because I have actually a lot I really couldn't tell you anymore how many succulents I do have I think because once you start it's kind of like Pringles once you start you cannot stop <laughs> and that's how it is with succulents so um, one thing that I can give an example right so I have my super bum so because she is naturally purple I know that it is becoming um, you know summer now so she has lost a bit of her color and stuff but technically she is sit she is purple and she sits in a yellow pot so when she does become really purple because that is the color wheel color it actually becomes really really vibrant on her um, I also pick um, if you have dark succulents I put them into lighter pots because then it just doesn't focus everything towards the pot it goes also to the succulent where your main focus is so you know i know like when you're decorating a home and stuff like that you kind of have tips like that of like you know what's a focal point and stuff and that's the same thing that i do with succulents so i am um, pretty particular about what pots they go in because i like to um you know have them somewhat not just a pretty succulent but a complete setup i just think if you're going to give a gift you might as well or you're going to purchase something get the whole complete package you know it's just the way to go and so i really feel like um you know when it comes to pots and succulents i think it is a match made in heaven i feel like if you have something honestly so beautiful like i just think it's a waste to kind of just stick it in a normal terracotta pot and you can't really Yes, like, you know, your second one looks great, but I feel like just me and my personal views, I like to look at it as a whole setup. So that is the reason why I am such a, um, a little pot addict and how I like to have all my pots put together. Um, because I am more of a, cause I'm not a propagating person, to be honest. I do not, 
I do propagate some things, but um, it's not really where my heart is when it comes to succulents. Um, I do really appreciate the beauty of a succulent, and I also really appreciate the complete setup of a succulent. And, you know, I really wanna draw the whole wow factor when it comes to succulents. Um, you know, so if someone was to see my collection or even me personally, when I come out in the morning or in the afternoon and look at my succulents, I'm just like, whoa, you know, because it's um, the complete setup for me. So I feel like if you want to do collecting, yes, it's great to have um, great succulents and amazing healthy succulents. That is definitely one of the main things to have. But also I feel like it really does complete the whole look that you are going for as a collector if you have them in a beautiful pot so um you know if you're someone like me that likes to have the the mini pots the chini pots you know um then i really recommend doris because doris is going to have them all for you and i really do plan to do a vlog with her so you guys get to meet her and you get to see all the rest of her pots because like i said this is just some of the new stock that she does have available she actually has a whole website and i will put her website link up i will put her um instagram link up and all the details of how to contact doris so um you know i hope i helped you guys when it comes to pots and you know shown you uh, where i get my pops uh, my pots from guys so i have really had this question brought up to me a good amount of times on my instagram on my facebook and um you know even here on my youtube so um you know this is where i get my pots from guys i get it from doris and if you speak to her and let her know that it's from me she will help you out with prices so please do not hesitate to talk to Doris because honestly, she is so lovely. And if you think that um, I'm a pretty nice person, you really need to meet Doris then because she is absolutely so lovely. I also want to mention that um, besides pots, Doris does candles, Doris does anything creative honestly Doris does that but if you are someone that wants to try and get into doing like little fairy gardens and stuff for your succulents or any kind of fairy gardens or terrariums and stuff like that Doris does have the little figurines so like I said Doris knows that I am such a Totoro fan so besides the cute little pot she's giving me she's also giving me all the little um characters and stuff with it so if you are looking for a um, you know figurines and stuff to do your fairy gardens or give us gifts and stuff with your succulents please check out Doris because she will have them she has an array of um, a selection you know so really try and have a look at what she has um, if she doesn't have everything on her website honestly she can send you everything and contact you and speak to her through Instagram because she has a lot more stuff there Make me feel like la, 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 la. next time thank you so much for watching another episode on my youtube channel and i hope i helped you guys with some info on where i get my pots from and how i choose the colors for my pots or what succulents go into them so until next time please like share and subscribe to all my social medias of cat love succulents and hit the bell button for more notifications about my upcoming videos and if you have any more requests for videos please comment down below Bye-bye.